Alright, if you have a KitchenAid Artisan a tabletop stand mixer and the head is jiggling, this thing here, if it's jiggling up and down, even after you lock it in place like this, if this still jiggles up and down, um, and the, the first time you notice it, maybe as it'll jiggle as it's mixing, this thing will be shaking. Um, I can tell you a possible fix for it. Of course, it might be something else. Um, but I'll tell you how I fixed ours after I compl almost completely disassembled the head Saw the gears and all the grease in there and that was kind of cool, but it was a total waste of time And my first attempt to fix it was I thought oh Here's a loose screw. Oh, it's hard to see um, let's See if I can if the camera will focus closer on it Okay there you can and it's not focusing quite right, but you can see that screw in there, and maybe you can see how it's not seated. Actually, it's tough to get a get an angle. There you go. You can see that screw's not seated all the way. And I thought, oh, it's a loose screw. So what did I do? Well, I tightened it until it went all the way down, and that didn't fix it. In fact, it got worse, which I didn't notice right off the bat, but my wife, a few days later, said, I can't use this thing anymore. The head's lower, the attachments are banging into the bowl, I can't use it. So I took it all apart, didn't fix it, put it back together, didn't know what was going on. Then it occurred to me, this is a stop. When you move this head forward, that screw bumps into this surface right here, so by adjusting that screw, you can adjust how far forward this head comes. That also adjusts how tight this lock will be when you move it forward into the lock position. If you screw that screw too far forward, too far out, left, left turn, turn to the left, this head will be up too far, and this won't come all the way forward. If you screw the screw in too far, it allows the head to drop down too much and with this fully locked there's slop in it. So you can very easily and freely move this screw in and out with a flathead screwdriver. You can use a short one or a long one. Um, you may need to move this, just spin this to the side like that so that this is out of the way. But you can use either screwdriver, they both work. Actually a long one gives me more leverage. But either one's okay. Because this is not super tight. so. Uh, even a screwdriver that you don't have a lot of leverage on will give you enough uh, enough torque to turn that screw. It should turn pretty easily. Um, so just screw it in and out. And what I did was I screwed it uh, out too far. And when I screwed it out too far, this lever would not go all the way forward. It would only come maybe to here. Then I would screw it in little by little until I was able to move this all the way forward. And this did not move at all. So that's it. Simple as that. If your head is jiggling up and down, this is a stop, which butts into this surface right here. Just adjust it. It's a piece of cake. You can't mess it up. You can unscrew it and bring it out. You can screw it all the way in. You can just play with it until this comes all the way forward and there's no movement in the head. That's it. I hope this video helped.